What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. It's another day, another video, another tune. We've got here just a nice little manual VYSS uh, owned by a local bloke out here that we're doing a tune for. Uh, it's just a pretty mild cam. We're not actually sure on the specs of the cam. Uh, we did do his heads for him uh, pretty recently though. You might have seen and uh, I think it was one of the, might have been when we were doing the heads for the VE. Uh, we did these heads at the same time. So we've given them just a service. They're just single springs. Uh, we've had them decked. So they're a little bit higher comp. They're just a set of 241s. Uh, yeah, mild cam, as you can see, over the radiator intake, ACS induction throttle body, and we've just got a nice little set of uh, pacemaker tri-wise and an exhaust, and uh, apart from that, it's all pretty standard, just a manual VY. So, uh, we're doing a tune on this today. As you guys know, I'm pretty honest about. Um, I am not too familiar with uh, HP tuners. Rex has pretty much been always the HP tuners guy. So, HP tuners, when compared to, uh, you know, most aftermarket ECUs, as far as the software goes, is very convoluted and complicated. Uh, it, it's pretty hard. There's a lot to know, a lot to learn. So that's why Rex has always sort of been the HP tuners guy. Um, so given that uh, Rex has got the day off today, um, we're going to be tuning this. We thought it was a pretty good opportunity for me to uh, to sort of take the wheel of HP tuners and um, Rex can look over my shoulder and sort of have a go at this. Given that it is just a pretty mild cam and an aspirated uh, manual, it is uh, certainly the best place for me to sort of jump in and finally have a go rather than looking over the shoulder all the time. So I'm going to be having a go at this one today. Rex will be looking over my shoulder the whole time. And uh, given what we know, well, our experience with LSs, we expect this to sort of make maybe around 360 at the wheels. Um, that's what we're aiming for around there today. Depends what sort of cam is in it. Like I said, we don't actually know the specs on the cam, but assuming that it's something half, half decent, um, yeah, we, we think around 360, 370 maybe. <laughs> guys so pretty good results managed to crack the big 400 so it must be it's obviously a much crankier cam than i expected <laughs> that's that's really good results for an ls1 for 5.7 um but anyway now we're just going to go for a street drive obviously make sure this thing is behaving the way it should be um and make sure the o2s are, are doing everything they're supposed to be doing so upon actually getting into it it seems as though it's been uh tuned with efi live already so with hp tuners we weren't actually able to alter the os so we just sort of did the tune, just flashing in uh, what we had to. Um, but uh, yeah, we couldn't actually do anything with the OS. So uh, the O2s have been a bit weird. So we're gonna go for a street drive and just see what they're actually doing on the street uh, when it's pulling the O2s out and stuff. So we'll check back in after that's done.
All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, car drives great. Uh, amazing, actually. We do have an issue with the O2 sensors, so we've currently just left it in open loop. It runs really well in open loop at the moment, so uh, we're not too fast right now. So we're just going to let the owner know that uh, it seems it appears to be something uh, an issue with the O2 sensor on the driver's side. It's not throwing any DCCs. It's not throwing any faults. But in the scanner, they're very obviously uh, very different as far as their raw voltage goes. So they're not working as they should be. Uh, so we just pulled them out and left them out for now. And he, if he wants to sort that out, uh, he can sort it out. And it's something we can put them back in a bit later on. But I will say for this thing to have made 400 wheel, which is quite a, you know, that's pretty impressive from just a, a stock headed, uh, you know, LS1 with no port work or anything. Um, we just, we shaved 30 off the head. So it's got a little bit more comp. But uh, it's quite impressive power, and I will say that this thing drives flawlessly. Like, you can literally take off uh, on the clutch with no throttle, and there's no pig root, and there's no surgeon or anything, anything like that. The thing drives flawlessly pretty much at idle. Uh, so even though we're not quite sure what the cam is, we're actually we're very interested to find out now, given how it drove. Uh, very, very nice street manners for a 400 horsepower at the wheels, you know, manual LS1. So we've done quite a few, um, which you've seen. You know, manual LS ones make sort of 370, 380. Uh, there's, there's one particular brand we often do use, which we quite like, and even that cam wouldn't uh, wouldn't behave like that at idle. So uh, yeah, we're quite interested to find out what actual brand this is because it made the power, which is good, and it has the manners of a very very mild cam, uh, which is also very nice. So yeah, very impressed. Quite a nice car. Quite enjoyed this. This is great. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Just a nice, short and sweet video. Nice, short and sweet tune-up. Good bit of fun. Uh, I'm going to ask. We're going to see if we can find out what, what grind this is. See if the owner actually knows. Uh, if he does, we're going to. I'll leave it in the description. What what grind this actually is. All right, guys. So the owner's just left with his VY. He's super stoked with the power that we made. As are we. Uh, upon having a bit closer inspection, we actually realised that uh, it was an LS6 intake as well, not an LS1, which would have helped a great deal. Uh, but he actually. We managed to get the, the specs on the cam. It's a cam tech, uh, it's a 233, 233. So it's an even split um, or a no split, if you'd like to call it that, uh, on a 110, oh, sorry, on a 112 uh, with 595 or 596 lift. Um, so, you know, quite an aggressive cam. And then obviously being a no split cam, we got pretty good results out of it. We, we sort of are aware that uh, a lot of people do get pretty good results out of uh, no split cams with LS1s with Cathedral Port heads. So anyway, needless to say, as I said, uh, we're, we're super, super impressed with how that thing behaves for how much power it made. And uh, the owner's super impressed as well. So everyone's super happy, we're a win. And uh, that's definitely a, probably a, a cam we'd, we'd be looking to do in future for those sort of real mild street applications. So. Well, on, on stock heads sort of thing, so... No, it was good. Anyway, just sort of let you know the cam before we uh, sign off, because I know a lot of people would be asking anyway. So thanks for watching, as always. Head to the shop, buy yourself something nice. See you on the next one. Peace out, see you, bye.